Welcome back on the WWS channel, the wonderful world of seashell. Today we're going to talk about the seashell, of course, and after having made many tutorials, actually, we're going to talk about seashells. So I'm going to present you a lot of seashells now from my own collection from 2000 to 2002. Uh, I was staying in Martinique in the Caribbean and I found quite a, bit, a bunch of shells. So we're going to talk now about the seashells I found. Most of them were found while snorkeling and free diving. Most were found fresh dead, like uh, many of the big specimens you can see on the video. And uh, I found them mostly around octopuses layers. So as I repeat in the in all the videos, you have to visit the octopuses layers to find fantastic seashells and do not eat nor catch these animals. Um, they are your best friend while collecting seashells. So let's now let's now start with the with the big shells. So now you're watching some murex, murexes that were found in Martinique, except these two that were found in Lesser Anti, what we call in French Les Grenadines. So this very front we are found there. It's a very nice seashell, you can see, with big spines. And the pomum and the were found in Martinique. This is all found dead, all these specimens. Most of them have holes made by octopuses, but also holes made by murex, because murex, murex drills holes in the shells. It's a vasum. And the fighting Kong, the Strombus pugilis, this is dead one, it's always a big species. This one is quite clean, clear, quite like albinos, you know. It looks like the one you find in Sanibel Island, but it's a different species. There's two fusions were found in... Uh, Venezuela. These are from Venezuela. This big one too is from Venezuela. This is a real monster. This one is quite fun in Venezuela too. This is a fantastic shell. All the Violeta Musica group is a whistle. This is a juvenile femorale. It was found in Martinique, it's an empty shell. And this, the, this cassis flamme is quite a nice, nice shell. You can see the two holes right there. So, you also the strombus, like the raniness. This is really commonly found around octopus's lair. I found so many, I gave many, many to to friends in Martinique. This is really a classic shell. I didn't found them while snorkeling very often alive. I mean, I usually found them dead. The Spucasis testiculus, also all these were found dead. It's a really nice shell. They're quite the same. So the big ones now, this is the gallus. You see it has been found dead. You can you can see all the crusted coral. This is a very, very, very nice species. Often they are broken when you found them dead like this. This is often broken. It's quite an incredible shell. It's very cool to display in your house this kind of seashell. It's really awesome. This is juvenile. 
there's all these found dead. It's very, very, very nice specimens. So now we're gonna we're gonna talk about smaller specimens. I'm gonna present you many small specimens. Here you go. I think you can see most of this the specimen there. So this is a box where is where are stored the most quarries and olives from all from Martinique except the small ones you can see there. The small ones there are from Guadeloupe. This is a very common quarry. I, I, these were found dead, like I, I told you before. It's so common you can see them around sponges, just like the Sinera one. So I'm gonna show you closer. So these are from Martinique, Cipra acicularis, and all these olives were, fa were found dead while snorkeling. I was snorkeling there to find cones, and usually I could find many empty shells, and they quite shining. I mean, they are just fresh dead specimens. Coral are very, very nice shells because they're naturally shining, just like the, they shine naturally, just like the olives. So that was the first display box with. Let me show you now another box. This box contains this box contains um, conus regis there. This is the dark the dark variation, and you can see there are two conus armineus, spurius, and mus. This this the, the the one on that side is really big. I'm gonna show them just after. And armineus at that time was very rare in the Martinique. We couldn't find any more. I, I found these ones, but they were empty when I found them. And the Spurious too, it's quite rare now. It used to be common by the past, and this one's given to me by a friend, and I never seen even a piece of it, okay? Let me show you the shells. So the mus, conus mus. This is a really big specimen, you can see. You can now identify quickly the seashells from the Caribbean. The Spurious. All these were found in Martinique and Hermines. And all the dark specimens of Conus regis. It has a very crowned, tuberculated spire. So. That was the first, the second box. We're gonna change box now for another box of Conus regis, but now you have the citrinus variation. It's the same species, it's just a variation. They eat fireworm, um, and the fireworm have different colors, so this changed the color of the shell. You can have half normal, half cit citrinous. You can have half dark, half orange cone. So let me show you these really big guys closer. This one was really awesome when, when found. I will show you an image when we found this one, it was found by a friend and he gave it to me. And he was not collecting seashells. It was really, I mean, like uh, red. You, was, you, you can see that on the picture I'm, I'm showing you exactly. It's incredible how it changed color. Incredible. 
these ones are my favorites they're really special the Connors Ridge has very big operculum you can have these ones which are like half citrinous orange and half I mean still orange but much clear you can see this one is really really effective So now we're going to change box again. A totally different one. This is a mix of seashells I found uh, all empty while I was snorkeling. You can see again the Voluta Musica, which are quite a nice species. I mean, uh, you can have a uh, like smooth one, we have like not at all smooth like this one, very tuberculated. You can have blue, you can have pink, you can have yellow, that was the one we we saw before from Venezuela. It's pretty cool, I, I love this species. Let me show you the different kind of seashell there. Thymasium aquatile, which is quite common there, you can find really a lot while snorkeling. And there's ones, they were really strange. I mean, I did find them only in the South Martinique, dead on the on the sand in like about 10 meters of water. So this was the second box. No, the the fourth box. Here is another box with uh, with mixed specimen, mixed species, and you can see cones. That is conus bui. These little little cones comes from the Glacerante. We just said the the grenadine. That was from this is all. I mean dead ones. This was my the, my first Xenophora. I never the first one I've ever seen in my life. So let me show you the shells. This is a, a big, maybe my biggest conus regis. It's it's a dead specimen. It's little past, but it's quite nice. It's a giant. So all the specimen, except the one from the grenadine, the lesser antique, come from Martinique. These are all Martinique seashells that I found while snorkeling. So let's now change box. And we're gonna have now a few more ridges. You can have, you can see this, it kept its color. It's quite bluish or purple. And after it's like citrinous. You can see that what I, I told you before, the changing color. It's pretty nice cool. This one is also special. It's half pink and it's half yellow.
This is a very nice pichy from Martinique. So we're going to change box again. And one of my favorite boxes, as you can see on, on the on this box, you have a lot of, of different colors. It's really colored. I mean, it's very nice. You have all these, this Connus Docus. They're quite different, but the overall color is orange. Sometimes you can find there's like um, more clear, like yellow, and some can be really white or pinkish. This is Conus granulatus, still it's all from Martinique. And Conus mendanus, Conus granulatus is quite rare species, and only two colors are known from Martinique, as far as I remember. This is the, the, the Conus bui here, which is Quite a, quite a nice species. And even if you can find them in less than 10 meters of water, usually they are found much deeper. This one is a real jewel. This is a very, very nice species. You can find orange one and yellow one. There's two variations. This is the Conus Norai. Many, many different color for that species. This is incredible color. I mean, it's uh, it's really purple. It's rare on, on the, sh uh, uh, on the on for the cones where there's color in the Caribbean. You can have the on the on the left the Columba attenuatus or spectaculatus, the small small species, and this one from dead. Uh, uh, it's really nice specimen. I don't know if it's the new species described by Eric Monnier, but uh, it's a quite nice shell. I've seen only one like that. It's really cool. So we're gonna change box again. I hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to give us a like at least and please subscribe to the channel. It's the only way to support us and do not hesitate to leave any comments. So this box now shows specimen from in the Lesser Ante and the Grenadine. I, uh, one of my favorite species is this one. That's changed name regularly, so let's call it Dominicanus, but some, some people would call Sedonulia anyway. I'm just showing the specimen, it's not the taxonomic lesson. These are found on the sand by night around grass fields. This is really an awesome shell. Awesome. This was one was bought and it does not come from uh, uh, like Union or it's come farther. I found this one in Petit Martinique. It's a fresh dead specimen of granulatus. It's a really cool species. The big Herminus. This one has this special color because I kept the periostracum. This one's a freak. It's a freak. You can see the lip. I'm gonna show you another box.
it's not easy to to move the camera while speaking and showing you the seashells this is a chorus box so you can see on that box uh, Cinerea Cori this is very 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 common in the Martinique all days they are that were found dead and usually around octopuses they are even the big ones and you can see the very rare surnamenses all come from martinique this one was given to me by a friend this one given by a diver who found it dead this is the ovulidae that live on the um, on the gorgonian this zebra it was found, trust me or not dead, on the last, the last week before I leave this wonderful paradise. I never found any, no live, no dead, I mean no, fresh dead in Martinique. And just before leaving, the last week, I was snorkeling in Anse Noir and by like 7 or 8 meters of water, I found this fresh dead specimen. It's really awesome. I had the chance to find it before other tourists found that shell before. These three ones come from Venezuela. And you can see this is a, a strange one. This is the Cinera, but it's, I mean, it has some kind of uh, problem. You can see sometimes other quarries that do the same. They are very small ones. They were all found small like that. It's really f very nice shell. We're going to hand by an another Connes Regis box with uh, with some that still have the pale strachan. They so naturally like they really look like that. I did not clean them. So there's where wretches. So here we go. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed that I all the seashell from the Caribbean from mostly Martinique. So next time we'll make a, a video about the French Polynesia or New Caledonia. We'll, we'll check that out. And please subscribe to the channel and give us a like and have a good day.